Hello, welcome back. We continue our adventures getting lost in Laos today in Nong Kiao. This place, this place is out of this world. When I was in Luang Prabang, everybody told me I had to come up to Nong Kiai, and so I did, and I'm so glad I did because oh, I faced some fears, I learned some interesting things, and we went to the most incredible viewpoint for sunset. So sit down, relax, enjoy this slice of life in Laos, what it's like to travel here, what it's like to come up really north, and what it's like to have the time of your life. So let's pick things up in Nong Kiao. <laughs> Morning. Bright and early today. We're in a very special place. How do we say the name of the guest house? Mijo guest house. This is the gentleman who owns the place. We're in Nong Kiao. It's a village very further north than Lam Pabang. From this point on, I don't think we can go any further north. Um, the roads turn into rivers, and I want to stay with Zelda. And there are a few roads, I should say but I'm not quite sure if we're gonna be able to reach because there's been lots of landslides. Anyway, I'm rambling. Have a look above me, you see this? Pure cloud, right? Now you might think, oh, cloudy day, Paddy. No, <laughs> this is just morning mist. Watch what happens when I send the drone up, okay? This will reveal and give you a glimpse of the beauty of Nong Kiao. Not bad, huh? Not bad. So this is Sai. Sai runs the place. And yesterday when I arrived last night, um, about a four hour drive from Luang Prabang, he just gave me a bunch of recommendations um, for places to visit. A little village, a cave, some viewpoints. Basic information. No Basic water. information, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I had a great night's sleep. You don't need aircon here, guys. A fan is plenty. It's nice and cool. We're up here in the mountains, as you can see. So I'm just gonna wait for the morning mist to clear. And then once the valley gets revealed, we'll go explore a little bit. And then we'll finish at an amazing viewpoint, which he's shown me, it looks incredible. So a full action packed adventure exploring Nong Kiao today. Yeah. Yeah. Nong Kiao is an interesting place. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My morning coffee is in a glass, so I can't actually hold it to, to drink it. <laughs> so I thought maybe we could just go explore the little morning market or something. Um, so Nong Kiao is probably somewhere you've never heard of because I didn't know about it until yesterday. I was in Luang Prabang and someone said that it was gorgeous and it's one of the furthest to the north villages that you can access. Yeah, this village has a beautiful river, the Nam U River that runs through. Actually, I can see it. Let's go down, have a look. And it's famous for kayaking, climbing, and they do trekking here. Now, I'd actually like to stay a few more days and do some trekking, but Miss P, my girlfriend, um, she got jealous when she saw the pictures of me in Luang Prabang, and she's flying down, or I should say flying up, to meet me for a few days. So tomorrow I'm going to go back to Luang Prabang, have a couple of days off, and then I think we probably start heading south and more central. Oh my god, the morning mist on the river is gorgeous! Wow, it's just evaporating off the surface of the river as we speak. So yeah, it will be nice to spend a little bit of time with my girlfriend. I haven't seen her for four weeks because I picked up Zelda in Chiang Rai. We did a bit of Thailand and we made our way to Vientiane. Then we have been having fun here ever since. So I do miss her, so it's nice that she's coming to visit. Look, Nong Kiao, I promise you, it's gonna, it's gonna get better because, you know, like, we're, we're in the clouds, as you saw this morning. Let's have a look what we can get for breakfast. Looks like we've got shredded omelette oh, and salmon. vegetables, so pork pate, cucumber carrot, chili sauce, something else that's chili and spicy and a little bit of coriander. Sign me up. I'm gonna need some carbs today because we're gonna be doing a lot of steps. Oh, there's some donuts as well, but that's too naughty. 
<laughs> they look cute. And some morning condensed milk. Oh, that looks that looks yummy and smells good. Oh, a nice oh, a nice cup of hot milk in the morning on the way to school. Hello, nice to meet you. Sabai mate. Sabai sabai. Where are sabai. you from? I come from England. Uh, England. Yeah. Nice to meet you. There's a puppy here. Get off the road before you get run over. I gotta get my money. No dinero. <laughs> the good thing about Lao is that my very limited Thai gets me quite far here. Greetings and food and numbers are the same, relatively speaking. Sai Ua is basically sausage packed with lemongrass, chili, garlic and other herbs. It's so spicy and it's so delicious. Okay, can I get one Sai Ua? One. Try. It's okay, it's okay. I don't need a plastic bag. Oh, it's hot. I, I need a plastic bag. <laughs> hot. Lon. Lon. Right, we've got our breakfast. Let's go back to the guest house and see if our coffee's cooled down enough so we can actually drink it. And have a good day at school, okay? Make sure you do your homework. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be in big trouble. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Nothing like Nescafe instant coffee to wake you up in the morning. So this is the ban me. It kind of just looks like a basic hot dog bun, doesn't it? With some goodies inside. 6,000 kip. So because it's not the best banh mi ever made, we can save it. Sai Ua, banh mi. <laughs> sai Ua hot dog slash banh mi fusion food. You saw it here first on Paddy Doyle. As you can see, the morning mist is clearing away, revealing some of the beautiful peaks. So, why don't we just have a little drive around? Get a bit more of an idea of what this town has to offer. This town has about four or five guest houses. I think it has one hostel. And it's very, very friendly towards travelers. Easy to get to from Luang Prabang, you can get the minibus uh, or a private taxi. And last night there was probably about 20 people dotted around the two or three restaurants and bars. It's a good place if you want to get away from the crowds of Luang Prabang. As we cross the biggest bridge I've ever crossed in Laos, other than the Friendship Bridge on the border of Thailand and the valleys to the left and the valley to the right. I mean, I'm not making this up. This is exactly how it looks. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm driving through a screensaver, some sort of CGI masterpiece, but no, this is actually what Nong Kiao is. And over there, I can see a viewpoint. Up there, I can see a viewpoint. And what we've just driven through is the town, is the village itself. And this is where I had dinner last night. There's an Indian restaurant here. There's a pizza and a pasta place. This place did two for one cocktails last night and they had a fire going and there was a bunch of backpackers having a good time. And you can organize trekking here and spend two or three days up in the jungle. But like I said, I'm gonna hit it back down to the Lampa Banks to my girlfriend tomorrow. So I'm gonna prioritize that. I hope you enjoyed that little drive around and as you can see now that the morning mist has cleared Nong Kiao <laughs> it's absolutely stunning How's this for a view? Nong Kiao just stunning Here we are, Pa Kuang Cave. Now I was told you can kayak down the river and get off at this island 
and this cafe and then you can cross the road here and this is the start of the trail hello doggy so yeah Pa Quang Cave Adventure so according to this it was originally used as a refuge during the Indochina War in the 1960s along the trail to reach the large halls and chambers inside you will have to crawl and stoop through tunnels not much larger than your body okay probably not gonna be able to do that because I'm too scared so there's an entrance look they actually come up with a cave uh, map an entrance 1.5 meter height to get through here and then it will go through here through here through here through here seems like the hollow this part here is only going to be 0 0.3 meters in height and width so it's going to be very very tight all right the good news is there's the entrance down there so it's not too much of a climb and they give you a head torch and this seems to be the entrance here so we're going to try our best to go as deep as we can we're going to try to put ourselves in the mindset try to imagine that there are planes bombing us and this is the safest place to be because that's what they had to do so let's try to see if we can hack that cave entrance is beautiful of course there are many bats but they seem to be sleeping, so we'll just be quiet. Okay, there is an altar where people have been leaving candles and blessings, and then there is a sort of a makeshift temple. And the bats have awoken. But isn't that a... Don't know what that noise was, I'm getting spooked already. But isn't this quite the entrance? I came this way, but this seems to be the bigger entrance wow let me go down there for scale paddy for scale <laughs> it's big. okay we have a light we have a a cave to explore but I do want to prefix this segment by saying I am claustrophobic this is a, an adventure YouTube channel and I suppose I'm adventurous but really deep down um, I chicken out quite a lot especially because I'm always on my own you know if there was a girl here from my hostel I could just try to impress her and be like yeah come on love don't be scared come on follow me but because I'm alone I just pussy out <laughs> Not this time, okay? We're gonna make it through. At least the first one. <laughs> Famous last words. Up we go. Into the gates of hell. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my backpack and my keys and my phone because I don't, and my wallet because I don't need any of this. And I'm hoping no one's gonna steal it. Okay, into a dark, scary cave we go. I'm crouching down right now, so I can't stand up. And so far, so good. Ooh, it's very tight. <sighs> Try not to get too lost. Oh, oh wow, okay, here we go. Oh God, this must be, yes, this is the 0.3 meter section. We have to crawl on the floor through there. Holy moly, can you see? If I'm quiet, listen, ready? No sound, nothing. It's an absent of sound. See that blue arrow? That's where we are. If we make it through, like this happy person. I'm gonna give this a try, okay? Please like the video because it's scary. <laughs> uh. I made it. I 
made it through. Oh. oh, I'm so proud of myself for doing that. Okay, we did it. I don't want to go any further because I, I just remembered that I left my phone, which is my torch. If this runs out of battery, I will not, I will not be able to find my way out. So I'm gonna call it here for two reasons. One, I'm very scared. Secondly, I think it's the safest thing to do. And third thing, um, uh, I'm just proud that I made it through that squeeze, the tightest squeeze I made it through by myself. Okay, that was a massive success for me personally. I know that was just footage of black nothingness, but for me, I faced a fear today. I think the fact that, you know, this was a, a place of refuge and humans actually had to run for their life and climb through there because they were too scared to be out in the village um, motivated me a little bit more because I realized, you know, suck it up, Paddy. It's just a squeeze. And to be fair, if I did have my other torch and someone else with me, I, I think I would have been much better. Um, I'm covered in dirt now and sweat, um, but that's, that's the sign of a, a good day out for me. Now, there's a, another community about, um, about an hour up a dirt road. So apparently it's very local. It's a Lao village, a Lao community, very remote. And I think there's like a museum or there's a place where you can learn a little bit more about how they live off the land and what they do to survive out here in the middle of nowhere. So let's go explore that and then we'll come back into town. But yeah, so far so good. Nongkiao is stunning. So there's like a handicraft center. You can come and see how they make local crafts and things like that. But she just told me that they're all out on the fields because they're harvesting rice this time of year. So everyone's super busy. And then anyone with a good strong pair of arms is out working, grafting. And not too many tourists in, this, in these parts. Can't, can't oh, they make it? Okay, so this is something that they make here. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> Beautiful architecture. They mix wood and bamboo and then they have even the artwork up there. It looks very pretty. Yeah, you can see this is the building. Handicraft Demonstration Centre. So they would normally be doing some sort of activity for tourists or anyone who passes through in this village. Uh, there's a temple and it looks like there's another place where they build products. I've got to say, just coming up here, it's beautiful, you know. This is as north and as remote as I think we're going to get uh, in Laos. We might see more remote villages like this later on in the series, but certainly not this far north. I'm glad I came, even though the demonstration center is not open. It's just nice to be in this area and to be amongst the locals here. So since this mission to the distant village outside of Nongki, I was a bit of a letdown, a bit of a fail, and took the best part of an hour to get there and an hour to get back. <laughs> I decided for the rest of the afternoon to take the advice that the owner of the guest house had given me in the morning to just check out more of the Nongkiao sights and sounds. The bridge, the river, the valleys, they're just gorgeous and i did a little bit of fishing had a couple of ciders just kind of relaxed nongkiao is the kind of place now listen very carefully that you should come to for at least two or three days this place has got enough for you to do but also just enough space to really get away Luang prabang was incredible guys but i much preferred nongkiao and there was hardly anybody up here so Make the most of it. If you're in Luan Praban, get up here. Look at it. <laughs> I 
thought a fun thing to do and also a good way to get our 10,000 steps today is to climb up that mountain. Can you see? I've got a feeling it's going to be steep. <laughs> In fact, for the steepest parts, they have a rope for you because GoPro's not doing it justice. Steep, very steep. <clears throat> 46 minutes, 4,000 steps later. We're not alone. This guy's thought ahead, clearly. <laughs> Beautiful. beautiful little town and I'm going to end with a beautiful shot not of me waving the flag because as cool as that looked um, it's just not as cool as the other guy <laughs> I was like hey you look cool um, wave the flag for the end of the video <laughs> so I'll end with that beautiful shot thanks for watching and in the next video we'll be heading further into that direction I don't know we'll get lost in Laos as usual <laughs>